people lined up outside in the rain, waiting for their turn to dig into a Mims burger. Get here quick because it's going to be a line. There was a line today. Paul Center enjoying his food now, but earlier he was in line at 1030 ahead of Mims Charcoal Grill's 11 o'clock opening. We're going to miss it. Another person who is going to miss Mims is Becky Norton. Actually, I was in shock. I was, I, I seriously never thought this place would close. But as she digs into her burger, she knows there's somebody who will miss this place even more than she does. I called her and I'm like, I'm sorry, Mom. Uh, Mims is closing, and she, every time she come home to visit, this was our go-to. And unfortunately, she won't be here till October, so she's missing out on it. So I'm here today for my mom. These days, Norton's mom lives out of state but she still comes when she visits and has been coming here since she was a little kid. Her face lights up every time we walk in here and you can see that she's reminiscing and remembering things from when she was a kid. Those in the packed restaurant filling their bellies with Mims burgers. Good. <laughs> I can see why this, why everybody wants to come here. Shakes and onion rings while they still can. The taste, they're nice big burgers, they're full of butter, we love that, um, and the people over here in Menasha. In Menasha, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.